Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Down Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with T N T Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the. Oh, stick. I'm the sticky man. <laughs> and we're playing Madden 20 with the San Francisco 49ers. Madden 20, San Francisco Jonas 49ers. just offered me as a grown adult. Just offer me another grown adult, yeah. a popsicle. I said I'll put some in the freezer for you. Jonas you... just offered me a popsicle. Yeah, dude, because I'm awesome. I'm like an awesome roommate. Like you're trying to lure me back to your rape van. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to lure you anywhere. Uh, nah, dude. I just was. I, you said you're not feeling well. I offered this old tasty treat for your throat, what bro. What is that gonna do? I mean, what does a popsicle do for me if I'm sick? You've never eaten popsicles when you were sick? I'm sorry. They I'm make... heterosexual. <laughs> I don't go around eating popsicles. They make a difference. No offense to our LGBTQ yeah, dude, plus just isolated people. Yeah, some mofos out people there. People who love popsicles, but I don't. I don't eat. I don't eat phallic foods. I'm sorry. I don't eat phallic foods. <laughs> I don't eat bananas, corn. You do too eat bananas. I've seen you buy bananas and eat them. When? Since you've lived here. Prove it. <laughs> Next time I'll record you. Pictures or it didn't I'll happen. buy you one and then like rec- <laughs> and then be like and then just for the just to catch you in a trap. You take my corn off the cob. Thank you. <laughs> you want to corn cob somebody. Uh what else what else are phallic foods? You ain't gonna see me eat a hot dog. Jonas got a whole twelve dude, pack I love of hot dogs. Got a whole twelve pack of Franks in the in the uh, crisper. Dude, I'll, I'll frank them up. I'll I'll frank in them. Uh phallic foods. <laughs> I don't uh, eat phallic foods. Uh what you gonna call it? What, uh, yeah, what those? you gonna call it's our phallic. I can't, I can't think of the Snickers. Those uh, <laughs> that looks more like poo than, than it, phallic. I don't know. Maybe it don't look like your D, but it looks a little like mine. <laughs> <laughs> Lumpy and brown. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not proud of it, Jonas. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> That's why they they need a white chocolate Snickers to be more like mine. Lumpy it is. It's a zero bar. <laughs> oh yeah, they do. Yes. More like a, a, a zero bar. I forgot those existed. Uh, what are those like? Oh, a baguette, like a, a bread, like a the, baguette, a French baguette. That's phallic shaped. It's all skinny. And I don't long. like the way you're saying baguette, dude. <laughs> a baguette. You are like uber American the way you're saying it, right? I now. mean, I am from America. A baguette. You are you are such an American. How, yes, I'm from here. Yeah, how dare you be American? How dare you be from where you're from? <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of our mindset against the world, of our country. Yeah. How dare you be where you're from? Yeah, yeah, baguettes are pretty uh pretty phallic, I guess. Yeah, yeah, dude. Uh Eclairs. I'm never eating an eclair. You're not gonna put your phallic food with oh, white dude, cream in I the middle. I'm a big fan of eclairs. That's yeah, like I, bet you do. I bet you do. Like when that dude, squid what kind squirts of D in your is mouth. Like flat and rectangle. Glitter. Glitter? <laughs> <laughs> That's a Friday reference. Yeah. Name Bell say glitter on it? <laughs> no, it's you know where all the two the two thousand snacks from. Twinkie shoot cream in your mouth, glitter. <laughs> but uh no Jonas um no I don't want a popsicle fam I'm not a popsicle boy like I'm not even mad that you offered me one I just was like you're just like I'm grown man why would I want a popsicle yeah I don't know I just haven't had an adult offer me a popsicle in so long yeah dude it's because kinda... I'm cool no, no. <laughs> I don't think that's the correlation I, I don't nope I don't think it's because you're cool <laughs> fair no, I think it's because you're thoughtful yeah that's... but <laughs> I'm, that... I'm kind thoughtfulness can be problematic yeah, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Been there. Oh, oh yeah. You try to be nice to some people and they... And then the next time that you know, they're like, so when you buy me lunch again? Yep. You're like, never. And then they spit all over your nutsack. You know? <laughs> so that's what they do. <laughs> Depending who you are, you may like that. <laughs> I'm not going to start this conversation either. <laughs> you but I want to. brought it up. You're the I want guy. To. No. The Wait, guy. hold on, Joe. I just... I just I, no, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not going to ask if you like it when a girl does that for you. <laughs> you always do stuff like that. You try to lo- like you what? try to bait me into like all these questions. No, yeah, because dude. if you had just left it alone, I wouldn't be I wouldn't feel like I should ask that question. Oh, yeah. If I just said that, yeah, sometimes you're nice to people and then they just come and spit all over your nutsack and then you were just like, <laughs> yeah, I know what you're saying, brother. But no. You're like, hey, some guys like that. And I'm like, well, I wonder if Jonas likes what that. What I mean is Uh-huh. No. Like- <laughs> not no. actual spit. No, that's like, what I no no. That's what I meant. No, then no. That's what I, I think, meant. I you I meant think. actual spit. I don't. I don't think that anyone's like cock up a big old loogie and 
<laughs> right on. My Thank head. you, and that would suck. Yeah, it would. You like stretch it out to make a bowl for it. You know, I would, but you know, I feel like this day and age, you can't ever say no one would like anything because there's somebody out there who probably likes that. It, you know what? And I don't want to. I, I don't know, man. I don't want to get into. The, we had a conversation about like the differences between then and now. I don't really think that that's any different from what it's always been. It's just that now... You can find other people on the internet that like it, too. You can You're find not so isolated. You can find people who do it. There's an outlet for those people to enjoy whatever weird fetishes they want. So if you're in a nut nut spitting, there's somebody that's gonna out there who's gonna if be interested in nut spitting. Spitting on your nuts, and you'll find other people. And now there's a spit nut forum. Yeah, you'll find someone. You want people who are the spitters and the spitties. There's yep. a whole like there's a whole like dating app for that. Yep. It, see, and it's just because we we grew up in a time where there weren't cell phones. That's the main thing. The internet, well, the internet, yeah, yeah. internet, because yeah. like we were so dis. And that's what I think the whole world in general. It's like, and that's why I think relations, it's harder for people to get married and stay married for a long time. Because wow. back then, you didn't have a lot of options. You weren't connected with the world. Are you saying that the strength of my marriage is only <laughs> subsequent In to the way, options? Yes. What? Because, and then, and now, like, you can find someone in, like, the other part of the world that you can fall in love with. Where before you were like, these are the people in my town. And that was it. Unless you move somewhere else, you weren't going to meet nobody else. Oh, my God. That's the saddest thing of all. Because they talk about, like, how everybody has a soulmate. I'm not convinced that my soulmate is anywhere in the vicinity. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the chance of you finding that one person who you can connect with for the rest of your life is already slim to none. But the chance that that person is from the same hometown as you. Right. Well, yeah. and back in the day that they would be, yeah, they're from your hometown and they live in your hometown and you meet. Exactly. <laughs> right. Like, yeah, exactly. That was like... Um, but yeah, man, it's it's. So I, you would think that the internet would make it stronger, because now you can you can interact more with people. It's luring you away. Everyone always thinks the grass is greener, man. So it's like, if you, especially if you're having trouble in your relationship, and you go online and like, you meet somebody who's like not treating you bad or whatever. <laughs> Jonas, you're not even a cheater and you're talking like this. Yeah, no, but like you could find reasons to be like, oh, well, why do I need to be with this person? I find there's other people out. It's, you can see how bad things are. Where before you might be like, it's okay, it's all I deserve. <laughs> and then you're like, wow. No one's telling you anything different. I would expect this line of thought from myself, but not from you. Why? Maybe I've changed. <laughs> Jonas has been studying the scriptures of Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Nah, dude, but uh, it's like, yeah, I'm not a cheater, but like, I just think, I think a lot of times, and it's it's a sad truth, I don't think it's a good thing, but I think a lot of times people are only as faithful as their options. Okay. Because if you you are a person, man or woman, and you feel you can't, like, some people have very bad self-image, and they're like... I'm never going to find a girlfriend. I'm never going to find a boyfriend. Then you find someone. Eventually, say you've been mm. looking for a couple years. No luck. Bad dates. You finally find someone. You're going to sink your effing teeth into that person until they push you away. If you have that mindset. Yeah, of, if you want that. If right, that's what exactly. You want. But and, and if then, you're someone who like has women or men throwing themselves at you all the time, if you find someone and they start like annoying you or not doing things you like your your mindset's like i got 10 other dudes or 10 other women that i could date that might treat me better than you yeah i do so, have mad dudes in my men yeah right so i just feel like if if you have more options you're more apt to put up with less crap i was thinking more along the lines of like uh is as soon as like something better comes along or something that has the perception of being better right i mean yeah i guess that's true too like, believe me, I've dated some girls, and then, like, Mariah Carey will walk by, and she'll be like, oh, TNT, I want to make your sweet, sweet fantasy, baby. And yeah. I'm like, yeah, Mariah. Yeah, <laughs> how many times you did it? <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, everybody has, right? Yeah. yeah. No, em- Eminem, Nick Cannon, TNT, Dynamite, what's the difference? I mean, I thought you were talking about the same person. <laughs> right? <laughs> we're basically the same people. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Jonas. I'm glad you realized it. Yeah, I mean, I, I know. I know your place. <clears throat> and it's right up there with Eminem and Nick Cannon. Uh, yeah. So, me and myself, definitely not looking for any of that relationship stuff. No? No. I was actually, uh, the other day when I was driving home from work, I was listening to a TED Talk. Okay. I love TED Talks, man. 
Yo, it They're was good. some it was some deep stuff though. Yeah, some of them are like real deep, man. It's so, like So the one I was listening to, it was this uh a psychologist okay and he was like and i tell people i'm a psychologist and they're like oh so not a real doctor and you know he got last from but it, either way that was it was just a little joke either way uh his whole thing was like you spend hundreds of dollars taking care of your body you brush your teeth on a daily basis uh you take showers on a daily basis and you go to the doctor if you're sick if you're sick you know you handle it if you cut your finger you know to put a band-aid on it right but he was like but at no point in time are we really trained on how to deal with like our mental health. Oh, absolutely. And you're t- and people have a stigma of like if you if your mind isn't right, then you have a problem. But lo and behold, don't go talk to a a therapist because then you, yeah. then you have a stigma. You're like, why shouldn't you fix yourself if he, you feel you have a problem? He was like a he was like a a three year old knows that if he gets a cut on his finger to present it to his mother, she'll put a band aid on it, but. If we get rejection from a female or we have a, a bad relationship or something, we'll immediately like turn on ourselves, which is like the idea of like picking at a scab until it gets infected. And yeah, then yeah. Or like and you then, have a cut, you're like, might as well just open it up more. <laughs> exactly, because we'll be like, well, I guess I really don't deserve, you know, that because I'm I don't ugly. To be healed. I don't deserve yeah. to be healed. I'm <laughs> ugly, I'm fat, I'm this, I'm that. And it's like, why are you just like... Just digging into that wound that you mm-hmm. have there. It was Negative some, self-talk, man. It's real ish. It was it was some deep stuff, man. It was really deep. I enjoyed it. Uh, I don't know what I can really say more about it than that, except that I enjoy listening to yeah, it. Yeah, was it uh? So it was more like about about like getting rid of negative self-talk and helping yourself when you realize that like you need help, that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, kind of like I mean, I was definitely just like driving home after working twelve hours, so right. I don't really remember everything that was right. said or even the premise, but I just remember that that sentiment kind of stuck with me. Yeah, dude, I enjoy watching TED Talks. I haven't watched a ton of them lately. But like the ones I have, well, I mean, they're super informative. It's just, it's just, it's nice to hear smart people in their field talk about their field. Yes, because like it's you know it's coming from like an educated place. They know what they're talking about. Like it's to the point now. It's like they're starting to pop up in my YouTube feed. But like I'll just listen. I'll just pop a TED talk on while you know nothing's happening or I'm playing Monster Hunter. And I'll just like uh, pop yeah. a TED talk in and I'll just listen to that. Yes, yeah, you're good, man. While I'm at work or something. Uh, nothing wrong with expanding your knowledge. It is not. And, yeah, man. This is like we didn't have that when we were growing up. No, dude. We didn't have anything like I that. Wish. I love all that sort of stuff, man. I would much rather read a book that's almost like, I guess, technically be like a self help book or listen to stuff like that because, like, it's so like and a lot of times it's stuff you already know but just hearing it in like a very well presented form like can just resonate with you in a different way see i wonder that if i would actually utilize it when i was a kid because with the amount of like accessibility to all this information there's a lot more distractions as well oh absolutely so, oh yeah. yeah i don't know i don't know but as an adult f it dude i'm all about expanding my mind oh i do all the time man i love catching like and that's part of the thing I love about Reddit is, like, you can go down those rabbit holes of, like, worthless stuff, but you can also go down rabbit holes of, like, very useful things, like, that can change your life, essentially. You know, Dude, whenever, really- whenever I get on Reddit, I end up looking at one boob, and then I'm like, oh, there's another boob. Why do you look at boobs so much? Because they're there? What do you, what do you, what, 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 what kind of question is that? <laughs> what I just do you mean, to- why do you look at boobs? What do you, what do you think? Because they're hot? Yeah, because I like boobs, Jonas. <laughs> Duh. They're my favorite, too. <laughs> Thank you. I can't think of much things I like better than boobs, to be honest. Right? <laughs> Jonas, I guarantee you can put two things in front of me right now. And you can say, you have option A, which is look at boobs. Or you have option B, which is anything else. <laughs> anything. And I'm going to be like, uh, I mean, can I do A first and then do B? Right. Because like, if not, I'm just going to do boobs the whole yeah, time. Yeah, like give me an option, Jonas. Give me a B option right now. Boom. You can look at boobs. Or? Or you can watch leaked footage of Overwatch 2. I'm going to take the boobs for 100, Pat. 
You're a liar. <laughs> what are you talking Cause, about? Because if you only had one shot to watch Overwatch 2 leaked footage, you would take that because you can look at boobs anytime. I mean, how nice are these boobs we're looking at right now? How good of boobs are there? Because I ain't never seen a Grade C boobs. I ain't never seen a titty I didn't like. You like a grade C titty over Overwatch 2 leaked footage? I mean, see, now that you've graded the boob, I have to see it to know if your grade is proper. <laughs> <laughs> you're like a, the move. one man C's another man's A. You yeah, know I mean? you were looking at this. I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's about a C. T it's like smelling a fart, Jonas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one man's two's another man's ten. That's your favorite saying. Exactly. It's like smelling farts, man. You might be like, yeah, you know, it's got Not a hint, bad. It's got a hint of uh, the musk to it. A yeah. little, a little birch wood. With a uh, a trailer of cinnamon, and then I'm like, "Well, I gotta <laughs> smell, I gotta smell oh, this oh part." Oh my god, I need to smell this cinnamon part. <laughs> no, see, Jonas, you're missing the patchouli. Ah, uh, that's in, right. In the fart. <gasps> I sharted the other day. <laughs> <laughs> nice way to end the video. When was the last time I sharted? <laughs> it was crazy too. I'm like laying in bed on my stomach, just woke up. <laughs> Got to get ready for work. Getting ready to go take a shower anyway. Oh, well, there you go. You can just leave it for lay for a while. And you know, it's it's like one of those wake up farts, right? So yeah, you're like, just like, oh, here it comes. Oh God. And it was went. just like. <laughs> 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 it, it was like it was like an oil derrick had struck oil. Oh, <laughs> just <laughs> shot it in the air. <laughs> right? Dar she blows. And it was like, well, son of a bee. <laughs> I was like, are old, you effing old kidding? Old Faithful Sprite. <laughs> right? <laughs> it was. Gross, dude. <laughs> That's so foul. Old Faithful sprung up again. And every and whenever you shart, you never real, you never think that it happened. You're like, no. You're like, no, I didn't shart. It's not that bad. Then you go to the bathroom, and then when you take the toilet paper, and you touch your, and you're, like, you're like, oh. Oh, 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 wow, it filled up in there. Yeah. It was like a, it made, it made my butt cheeks a Choco Taco. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, no. <laughs> that is all the time we have for today's episode. So please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, call your grandma. Tell her to look at this, too, if she's already done that. Tell your friends if you've done that. Unsubscribe and resubscribe. We gotta do. Oh yeah, that's a good idea, <laughs> Jonas. Jonas. A TNT dynamite. We are out.